guys, so today I thought I would sit down and film my August favourites video. I'm in the nursery because it's one of the only rooms in the house at the moment that isn't a mess or under construction, got all sorts of stuff going on. Um, and today, this is the first time I've had my hair like this in such a long time, I let my hair dry naturally. Well, I slept with it wet, which I never normally do, and I don't like doing it, but it was so hot last night, and I actually really like it. Um, it's kind of frizzy, but I'm kind of just, I'm liking it, so that's what I'm rolling with today. Um, I'm going to be talking about some of my favourite things from August, and I'm going to start off with a mascara. I mentioned this in my um, new in video for August. This is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara that came out, I think it came out in July actually, it wasn't even new in August, but um, I've seen a lot of like sponsored posts about this and I was quite intrigued to try it. It's bloody amazing. This is quite honestly one of the best mascaras, high street mascaras I've tried in such a long time. It gives you so much ridiculous length and volume, it's like full slash, proper full slash effect mascara. It's amazing and I would 100% recommend it. I don't like the packaging, I don't like this thing, I don't use that like angled wand thing. Um, I find the bulky packaging kind of annoying, but the brush is really good and the actual mascara itself is amazing. It's 10.99 from L'Oreal. If you're looking for a new mascara this month, I would 100%, how annoying is this? How annoying, like why? Annoying. Yeah, but it's really good. Next up, I have a lip balm that was also in my new in this month. This is the Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips. I had the driest, chapped, horrible lips at the beginning of this month. They were in such a bad way, and I've been using this. It's so nice. I do use it overnight, but I also just use it as a lip balm in the daytime as well. My favourite thing to do with it, and what I do most mornings, is put it on when I start doing my makeup, and then by the time I do my lips, um, sometimes I don't really wear lip products anyway and I just leave it on, but if I'm putting lipstick on, if I'm filming, I'll just wipe it off and then put lipstick on and it just helps to stop my lips being chapped, keeps them nice and moisturised. It's got coconut oil and wild mango butter. It has like a slight earthy kind of scent to it. I wouldn't say it has a nice scent. It is quite rustic on the scent front, um, but it does the job and it really, really works if you have dry, chapped lips sore lips. I had like, you know when you get the bottom, your bottom lip is really sore and chapped? I had that and it was just not fun. Um, so that's really, really brilliant. And then I've got two skincare products that I've been using this month a lot. The first one is kind of like a rediscovery. Um, I spoke about this a few times when I first used it. It's the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. I started using this a few years ago, um, loved it, subsequently found out that it had microbeads in it stopped using it immediately and didn't buy it again because of that. Um, since then, however, they have stopped using microbeads, I think because they're banned um, in the UK. I'm pretty sure they're banned in the EU, aren't they? Um, I, can't, I don't know. It's an American brand, so I'm not sure if they're banned in the States yet or in what the situation is. Either way, they have stopped putting them in this product and they now sell them in the UK. I don't know which came first or whatever the story was, but they've replaced it with silica, I believe, which is kind of like a natural-ish alternative to um, microbeads. So it's not microplastics, which are very, very bad for the environment. Um, so I started using it again. It's, it's so good. It's basically an exfoliating treatment that you put onto clean, wet skin. So basically after washing your face, I like to do it in the bath, um, when I've washed my face, got wet skin, you massage it. It's a really disgusting, like, green slime, like, pond slime colour. Um, but you get, like, a pea-sized amount, you massage it into your skin for a couple of minutes, you know, like, get it all up in there, um, and then you leave it on for, I think it's two minutes. Yeah, so it says you, you massage it for 30 seconds and then leave it for two minutes. I definitely do it for longer than that. Um, I probably massage it for a minute and then leave it for two minutes. Um, maybe three minutes. Uh, and then you rinse it off. So it's basically a double pronged exfoliator. So it has the manual exfoliation of the little beads in there, but it also has um, acid exfoliators as well. So you can really feel it working on your skin. And the result that you get from it is that your skin instantly feels super, super smooth. Like a lot smoother and a lot um, more kind of fresh and you can actually feel like you've exfoliated that nice feeling that you get after you use a manual exfoliator but it also has the chemical exfoliator too which gives you kind of long-term benefits so in terms of making your skin look brighter and more even the more you use it I really love it it's brilliant it's expensive but a little goes a long way for a start and it, it's super good and then the other um, skincare product that I want to talk about is from a really tiny 
new company called Marjo Medicine that is actually was set up by a friend of a friend of mine and he was using this when I was away on holiday with him and I was asking him about it um, and he got the lady who set it up, um, who's called Claire I believe, um, to send me some and it's amazing, it's so good, it's natural based, um, free from parabens, sulfates, plathates, ureas, petroleum, artificial colours, perfume, GMO, mineral oil, any other harmful chemical. So it's all natural based, it's just really, really nourishing for your skin. I've been using it quite a lot over the past couple of months. It actually looks tiny, but this pot is 30 mil, I believe. Um, and it's it retails for about 30 pounds. It's just so lovely on the skin. It's quite heavy, it's definitely a nighttime moisturizer. I use it as a night moisturizer because it doesn't have SPF either. I tend to use one that has an SPF in the morning and then use this at night, but it's just so lovely and just really nice. If you're looking for more natural based products for your skincare routine, I would definitely recommend checking those, these guys out. They do make it in really small batches um, themselves and I believe it's sold out at the moment, but it is coming back into stock soon according to their Instagram. So um, yeah, this is just a lovely brand and I really hope that they do well because they deserve to because it's very, very good stuff. So that's it for my like product favourites this month. I have a pair of shoes as part of my favourites too. Um, they are these sandals from ASOS. They look a bit dirty because like I said, they're favourites and I've been wearing them all month. Um, but these are my kind of like rope sandals. They kind of remind me of those ones that all the fashion bloggers wear. Um, what are they called? I can't even remember. Like nomad, nomadic state of mind, I think they're called. Um, I actually tried those on um, and I didn't like the way they looked on my feet. I feel like they're a bit too cool for me and I couldn't really pull them off. These are from ASOS, they're 25 pounds. I think, no, were they 12 pounds? I think they're about 12 pounds actually. Um, and they're really, really comfortable. I'm wearing them basically all month and I really like them and I would recommend them. If they still have them in stock, I will link them below. They might not, but they're really nice and I like them a lot. Um, if I didn't say that enough already. And then my last favourite is actually this necklace that I'm wearing now. It's under my t-shirt because this this t-shirt that I'm wearing at the moment is super high-necked and really awkward. Um, which way am I going with this there? Um, but that's what it looks like. Normally it would look like that, like on your skin. I picked this up from a tiny little um, jewellery boutique when I was in Cornwall last week. If you haven't seen my vlog from Cornwall, go and check it out. I had the best week, just the best week. I'm in love with Cornwall officially. Um, it was called Atlantis, it was in Falmouth. It was a tiny little shop. Um, I have looked and they don't have like a website, or well, they do but it doesn't sell things, but they do have Etsy where they sell things. They don't have this but they have lots of like antique jewellery bits and bobs that are really nice. It was £55, it's silver and it has these um, rose gold plated links which I absolutely love, I just think it's really nice. I love mixing my metals, I wear mix, as you can see like my bracelets, I wear mixed metal jewellery all the time um, and I just saw it and absolutely fell in love with it and I also like the length because it's kind of like a um, collarbone skimming, like mid length um, necklace which I have a lot of long ones and a lot of choker ones but I don't have too many of this length so I thought it was really nice um, even if it's hidden under my t-shirt. That is it. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A few little bits and bobs I've been loving this month. Um, let me know in the comments if there's any videos that you'd like to see this month. I have a fairly, there's a fly buzzing around and it is annoying me so much. Um, I have a fairly open schedule this month for video filming. So if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. And I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.